everyone, and welcome back to Tracy Trans Gaming. Today we are playing Leafy. And I'm hoping that everything works out okay. I'm finally settled in. I had a lot of problems today. Today has been the definition of Murphy's Law. I've been trying to record stuff, and every single time I tried to record today, it utterly failed. So now I'm settled in with my can of Doku Pay. And ready to play games. Now, if any of you don't know what Doku Pay is, there's an anime out there that's really, really cool. It's called Heaven's Notepad. You should definitely check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna start a new game. I would say continue a game, but the problem is, is that Yeah, the problem is, is that, well, obviously I gotta start from the beginning. My name is Robert Don, and I was born in London. I used to write this sentence countless times in my childhood years, and I remember father desperately trying to teach me calligraphy. He was persistent as a teacher, yet always a caring father. When I grew up, I became a journalist, allowing me to escape his parental grasp. To live a life of my own, a whole new world had opened itself up before me, and I took the leap without a moment's hesitation. Times were tough back then, yet I was enjoying every single moment my new life had to offer. It was then that I felt, for the first, felt it for the first time. It is said that you only get one chance to live your life to the fullest and break free. But when my father passed away unexpectedly, he left behind insurmountable deaths thrusting me into the abyss. My zeal was tempered and my mind clouded. While cleaning up his personal belongings, old memories of him came back to me, as if waking from a deep slumber. And as I touched the yellow practice sheets, I wondered how long it had been since our last writing session together. Underneath the sheets, I found an envelope, and inside it was a letter faded with time, which I carefully unfolded. What was written inside shook me up completely. What I had considered to be my life, my whole existence, was shattered beyond recognition. That day I lost everything, as if it had all been part of a theatrical shadow. But according to this letter, I wasn't even born in London, but somewhere far from here. The unfamiliar postal stamp revealed at least that much. <laughs> Frantically, I searched the attic, but no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't find anything else about my past. This letter must have been the only thing that my father had kept. Perhaps he had secretly wished for me to find it after his passing, as if seeking redemption. Was I really looking for the origin of my story, or was I just chasing a dream? A cheap excuse to abandon my whole life in search of a challenge, or something more somewhere to test my mettle. Just a few of many questions that I uh, that I had occupied my mind as I as this little boat rocked, drifting slowly towards my final destination. Now the loading is going to take a little bit, but. Yeah, this game is actually kind of interesting. I've been wanting to play it, and it's definitely, it's very amnesia-like, is the best way to describe it. It has, it gives me a lot of amnesia, oh, excuse me. It gives me a lot of amnesia vibes, and I have not really had the chance to play it at all. So this is going to be the first time that I'm actually doing a playthrough and seeing the game as well. I have no idea what awaits me during, like, 99.9% .9 of all of them.
Wow, that's quite this point, Harry. <coughs> I hate that noise. Why they always use that noise, I will never know. Okay. Now, for one, what I've noticed is, is they got pages that I have to find. And no, it's not like, uh, that Slender Man game kind of thing. My dear friend, when the time is right, I will personally make that final arrangement for his, department, for his departure. The arrival of the supply boat is due next month. So, if you, so you should have plenty of time to make preparations before he arrives. I trust you will keep your word, and we'll see to it that he will get a proper life, far, remo far removed from pain and sorrow, that awaits him here. I seek no forgiveness for what I've done and couldn't manage to do, but I do hope that one day everything will be remembered if only as a dream's mess. Take care of my little boy, Robert. Okay. I also don't like that blurry effect, too. It really messes with my eyes. Boink. Oh, that didn't serve any purpose. Okay! We go this way. Now, I have played this a little bit, as mentioned. I got a little bit past a certain point that's a certain point over at a certain point, but I'm not going to say until I reach a certain point. I know, so cryptic am I. Oh, there's something on the chair. I see the something. I want to get the something. I haven't gotten the something yet. Erg. <sighs> Your running skill is weak. Okay. We has canned food. Om nom nom nom. I haven't seen the miners for the last two days. I wonder what's going on. Now don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for the silence, but their sudden disappearance makes me feel uncomfortable. The postman hasn't shown his face this month either. I hope that he's alright. He was such a nice man. I can go to the dock. Go to the dark, go to the dark, go to the dark. You lied to me, game. You made me think something was over here. Is something over here? Take a look. And it's a chair. Nope, nothing over here. So this is how you're gonna play this, huh? Bear traps. I bet you tend to one they are meant to keep people inside. Of course, I don't really have any idea. That's only speculation. Hmm. Locked. Window. Okay. Nobody inside. Did you crash game? And we're back. Apparently the game had a little bit of a crash issue. Which seems to be kind of prevalent because I get that actually quite a bit. I think it might be a developing bug or something on that line. So I played myself back to where I was. Oh wow, it's dark in here. Ooh, there's a lantern. I can see. Food. Out. The mining company made me an offer on the house yesterday. 
I heard they need better access to the port, and I wish I could, ju I could just take their offer and leave, but we don't have anywhere else to go. My parents who lived in the village passed away not passed away long ago, and even if they hadn't, now the villagers up on the hill, hill, ah, now the villagers up on the hill, up the hills are getting sick too. Bodies are piling up in the streets. I'm certain this is the safest place we can be right now. So, bodies piling up in the streets, huh? Why does that sound very plague-like? It's like a trail of breadcrumbs, except it's cans of Greek spaghetti. Wait a minute, is that what it says? Greek spaghetti in a can. I burned the last of his possessions today, just as the good doctor suggested. He told me that if I don't show any of the symptoms this week, they will allow me to get my son back. Yesterday, the postman told me the rumors he had heard about the sickness. Some people from the tent village came to him last week and warned him. They said it came from the mines and it's best to keep away. I told them I had doubts about their story and that it couldn't have come from there. There's a book on the ground, but as we know from books so far, we can't do anything with them. Dark, dark, dark. I understand that it's a horror game, but why does it always have to be so dark? There we go. I lit up something. Okay, open doors. Any more lights? Yes, lights. Thank you. Yo, what is that? Oh, laundry. You look like a big pile of goo. Goopy goo. Ooh, look, more spaghetti. That is randomly in a can that who knows how old it is, but I put it in my mouth anyway. I must face reality. My husband is gone, and we don't have enough money left to last another year. Now that winter is right around the corner, and with the roof leaking, I have no choice but to start repairs this week. It won't get fixed by itself. When, the eldest, when our eldest son turns 12 next month, he'll be strong enough to help me out with picking olives this year. After that, I'll have to figure something out. I just have to. Everything will be alright. We'll make it. Who the hell just writes that stuff on pieces of paper anyways? You see, usually I write stuff to forget about it. I think trying to figure out your life scenario and situation is something that you don't really want to forget about. But I guess for storyline, it's probably the only real way to make it work. Except for video recordings. You didn't get me this time, trap. Okay, now I'm going to kind of rush this part a little bit because I know what's supposed to happen. So I'm just going to make it- oh, I just walk up a ladder, okay. Ooh, no. Only use the cargo crane if you really need it. It broke down again last week and can't be operated normally ever since. They told me it's got something to do with the compressors. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know anything about those kind of things. I asked the guys from maintenance to take a look at it last time. Oh, excuse me again. But I guess they don't have any time to spare these days. They must have been too busy cleaning up the spills in the mines. I hear it has been a real mess down there lately. Spills? In a mine? Whenever I think of mine, I always think of like, well, maybe water. Okay, I hate this part because I hate parkour. I am not a parkour junkie. I suck at it. Like, really super bad. Tracy and parkour are not friends. Considering the fact in most video games, I always find a way to trip and break my legs. I don't know why. It just sort of happens that way. Now, that, letter, that lever right there has a purpose, but it, the purpose is not clear until I do something else. So I need to go do something. First things first, read the sign. 
Notice of cessation notice of cessation of activities. Due to recent events, all operations at the mine and, and its accompanying facilities have been suspended indefinitely. Local residents are strongly encouraged to keep a safe distance until further notice. Trespassers will be prosecuted and will be dealt with harshly. You have been warned. Well, I may have been warned, but I'm trespassing. Okay. You get raspberries. That's the only thing you get. Okay. Well, now since I got this door open, which is very important that I did that, by the way, and there's a reason. Notice how sign says, danger, high voltage, no trespassing. They kind of mean it. And I would prefer not to get hurt, thank you very much. Yes, I know. I'm not fun. Ooh, I see you. I barely saw you, but I see you. Ding! Okay. Paper! The card's brakes get stuck off them. So you should use the pressure control lever to get it moving instead. Be careful with the pressure, though, or the brakes will break. Hee hee hee, brakes will break. There is only a few more days left. The higher-ups ordered the sealing of our tunnels at the end of next week. We're finally going home. Mike. I know somebody who's a Mike. Squeaky bell. Ah, the sound of machinery. Let's go! And turn on this lamp because I can't see a darn thing. Okay. I shall be turning on every single lamp that I see. Ooh, that's a hook thing. Obviously it's where the lamp is hiding, but it's no longer there. Same thing with that one. Wait a minute. Oh no, I turned on that one over there. I was gonna say, did I turn on one over here? But no. That'd be kind of creepy though. They should do that. They should randomly make a light that you turned on or something just appear so that you can know that there's some sort of presence or something. And there goes the minecart. Here go, boom. Alrighty. Here we are in the mine. It is a button. What does the button do? Absolutely nothing. But it's a big red button. I want to push it. Either that or it's just a red light. Use radio transmitters to save your progress between autosaves. What? Oh! The flashlight attached to a security camera? Well, I guess there was no choice but to attach that. Okay. Now, there's one more note around here somewhere. I want to find it before I go out. I have to find it. I don't know where Mr. Note is. Hi, a Dad. Okay. Save. Which means this is probably going to be a new area. I got eight out of nine notes. So if anybody who's ever anybody who out there who is playing this game knows where that note is, please leave it in the comments below. I wait, wait. Did you? Did you maybe? No. I was hoping that it would open up this room. Maybe there's a way that it can open. Let me take a look before I end this episode. There's got to be a way. 
I guess not. Oh, wells. Well, before I end this episode, I have a few things to say about the game so far. It's slow, but it does seem to have an interesting story to so far to start. It's like they're taking multiple stories and they're trying to put it together. And you are trying to see what the town was like. But the question is, is how long ago did all of this happen? That's what I'm very curious about. How long ago did this happen? Hmm. Well, thank you everybody for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and a subscribe. And I'm definitely going to get back to this game again. But have a good day.